Is he the greatest leader in the past 25 years in sports history? Without question, in my estimation, he's El Capitan. That's first of all, that's what I call El Capitan. That's what I used to call him. Derek Jeter, that's who I used to call him all the time. And I feel very, very passionate about that. He was the ultimate champion, five-time champion, 310 batting average. We all know this other stuff. I mean, if it were Mariano Rivera, unanimous election a year earlier, Jeter misses by one vote. Who the hell is that one vote? I still want to know who that one person is. Who the hell is that? In this day and age, you can't be hiding. I mean, if it's you, it's you. You just got to say it's you, okay? That's number one. Number two, a captain for 11 and a half years. You understand? Know the Yankees, the sustained level of excellence that he obviously instigated and influenced one clutch moment after another, and not just at the bat, but in the field to play, flying into the stands one time. I was there. Tossing was there the ball and opening. I mean, game. it was absolutely spectacular. Okay, we get all of this. But I go back to the captain's role, the leadership role. <laughs> the media capital of the world, New York City, living the private life that he lived. <laughs> Mm, get never, baskets. Okay. Never any controversy whatsoever. Just think about that for a second here. Somehow, some way, you know, no controversy. It is entirely. Are we talking, are we talking about uh, baseball Lisa, controversy? Uh, me, or just, uh, uh, can uh, we talk about all living the in life that all could it. spill all out onto the, the New York, no. it's okay. Gotham City, it's all of it. Okay, in Louisiana. In Louisiana, okay. different, it's a different vibe. Yeah. It's a different vibe in the Mexican city. Stephen A. Part city. of that, he said he waited to get married, waited to have children <laughs> hey, until uh, after he retired. Uh, Molly, Molly, I never brought up what he was doing. <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying. I never know. I know. She's supporting your point. I agree. Yeah. I know she's supporting yeah. my point. I'm just yeah. saying. I didn't give any details. Okay, I, I just said the bottom line is he was involved smart. in no controversies yeah. whatsoever. He made headlines as the face of the franchise. He was Derek Jeter. He was El Capitan. They were perennial title contenders. They got five World Series championships to show for it. He was impeccable in every leadership way imaginable. As far as I'm concerned, he was the epitome of what a leader should be. He is Derek Jeter, El Capitan. Uh, and that's all you, I have to you, say listen, about that. you made the captain point. That's significant. Like, captainship actually matters. There's a good book called The Captain Class that goes through this. The winningest teams of all time have similar style leaders, right? Whether it's Bill Russell or Tom Brady or Derek Jeter or any of these kind of guys leading your team. It can be an extension of the great coach or manager. Um, so you made that point already. That's great. Um, never stepped in it in New York City. The center of the known universe. The center of of finance and media for the winningest franchise in the history of American team sports. Never stepped in it one time. 162 games. Mike's in his face. Postseason, preseason. 200 games a year for 20 years. 4,000. Like, Mike's in his face all the time. Never stepped in it one time. All that's great. Check this out. Jeter would be a first ballot Hall of Famer if he played right field for the Milwaukee Brewers and never played in a single playoff game. The man had 1,900 runs scored and 3,400 plus hits. Like, he almost had 3,500 2,000. He's in the elite, elite of that. And, and everyone who talks about his defense, oh, he wasn't a great defensive player, the five gold gloves he didn't do. Jeter was such a great defensive player that he was able to play shortstop. All the, oh, this guy's a great third baseman defensively, right fielder defensively. If they were even better defensively, they could play shortstop. But he not only played it, but for the five-time World Series winning New York Yankees, now let's talk about leadership. Let's really talk about leadership because Tom Brady is, is, I think, his real competition here. Here's the difference. Basketball, a single player has the most influence on the, on the fortunes of a franchise. Football, less so, but least so baseball. It's hardest because you can't run every play by, you know, through Jeter. You can't have him take every at-bat. Either the ball's hit to him or not. It's his turn in the order or not. He won five World Series. At one point, came a play away from winning five out of six World Series. No. With three tiers of playoffs. Hold on. Joe Torre was his manager, great manager. This dude, like, it, okay, uh, George Steinbrenner and then Steinbrenner's kids. Bob Watson and then Cashman. There was turnover. Managers in baseball don't have influence like in football, for example. Tom Brady had Bill 
Belichick the entire time. He touches the ball on every play. He's this got the six. manager. Jeter's got this five. This is the manager in baseball. Right, who do you if, guys you're, have? if your team is going to go out and say, I'm going to pay to get this player because this player is the best in the game and we can add in a Derek Jeter, that makes a difference. And you can do that because there is no cap that say we all have to spend what the other teams spend. So now the small market teams can't compete with the Yankees. So they, what, this wasn't about what Derek Jeter could do to galvanize talent that wasn't better than everybody else's, and that's how they win. A lot what of Tom times Bra they didn't have the money. Wait, I what need you Tom to answer Brady, the question. Who do you Tom, think is the Tom best Brady. leader? Tom Brady, because it's 53 of them. And when you're Tom Brady, you touch the ball every single play. So the way that you prepare, the way that you conduct yourself, the fact that you do take less money, that's leadership. The fact that when it comes to Bill Belichick talking to people on that team, he can get in your face. He can make examples out of you in meetings. And people always say, I knew if he could treat Tom Brady like that, that he could treat me the exact same way. It's kind of the same way Popovich does when Tim he Duncan. deals with people. Tim Duncan. When he deals with the San Antonio Spurs and Tim Duncan. That's not how it happens with franchise quarterbacks. He's doing things. Tom Brady did things out of the ordinary for his position. He could hide order, from the media. In order One to game a week for right, 16 let's weeks. Let's he hear hide. Jay's answer. As a, who's had the highest payroll in baseball for the longest time? The Yankees. Mm -hmm. Are you not recently. But Frequently not yeah. throughout Jeter's I'm, I'm career. Sorry. Frequently the Red Sox had Ooh, higher. You Jay, it's usually the Yankees. Maximus. I'm telling you. It's okay. Just, have you guys grown up Yankee fan? Yes. Oh, okay. That's so what that, it is. That, yeah. Okay, I was feeling that. It comes from an interesting El Capitan. innate place. Yeah, El it's Capitan. Not, it's not like that's, that's fascinating. That's you know, right. I, I'm with you on Tom Brady, and I like I like the fact that Derek Jeter sitting next to A-Rod through those really dark times. And it's close, Brady or Jeter. I'm, I'm not going to say it's not close. I'm with you. I'm also, like, you have to throw Kobe Bryant's name in this whole thing. As a leader? As a leader. Because Duncan gets more credit as a leader than Kobe, Kobe usually. We have a term for Kobe Bryant. It's called Mamba mentality that we throw around to every sport for how competitive that he is, mm -hmm. how he drove people. And I know there's a little friction there between him and Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. But also, like, if we epitomize Michael Jordan as one of the greatest leaders of all time, is it safe to say that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. Like, if we're talking about in basketball, the second closest thing we ever had to Michael Jordan is Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.